my current standing, because I took a lot of territory in that last war. Like, I, I pretty much brutalized, um, well, I especially brutalized the Swedes, taking all their Finnish territories, a whole bunch of their vassals' territories, and a couple territories from Russia. So it was a pretty sweet war, all in all. I sent armies to crush them. Are any of these colonies self-sustainable? A couple of them. here. Um, for a colony to be self-sustainable, it's got to have a thousand population. And uh, this territory right here has only about 400 people in it with a growth of, growth, a growth of 50 a year. Wait, I thought, I thought I settled this area. Well, I'll do it now. Should get some. Once I develop this area a little bit more, I'll get some some naval ships being built there. I'm surprised that this territory right here hasn't declared its independence somehow. Well, it's being held by who? Oh, occupied by Cyprus. I should build some improvements. Go workshop. And a temple. And a courthouse. And a regimental camp. How much money is it? That's a lot of money but it increases the manpower and regimental recruit speed. It's built in provinces with high manpower. Okay, well, I'll bullet in a couple with high manpower. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of money on them. How much money do I make a year? 150, it's not enough. need a larger annual gain. Oh, good. Wow, it's really sad that right now the population of Greenland is higher than the population of Canada. Well, European population.
thought I already put a free ad uh, another advisor in. For now, I'm gonna have this guy. I need more monthly stability investment so I can get my stability up. It's a new national decision. I can pass a dissolution act, which will lose me three infamy. And, um, that sounds like something I want to do. Oh. Uh, prevent kings from exercising absolute control over their kingdoms without the consent of the parliament by making it a requirement that the members of parliament be called at least once every three years. Natives killed a bunch of colonists. What a bunch. Probably should should refrain from, from speaking ill of them. Considering that my, you know, girlfriend is Native American. <laughs> probably not the best idea. Uh-oh, France is dishonorable scum. I Did I really need an event to tell me that? Seriously. Whoa. It says, The nation of Aragon, my faithful ally, is requesting you come to their aid against in a conflict against Benin? We have warned Benin not to start any wars. Who the hell is Benin? I guess the first question we all have. Can't seem to find these guys, whoever they are. I'm going to decline. I love that Cornwall has a colony in Africa. For some reason, that's hilarious to me. No! No, I think I should gain a colony in Africa if I can. Can't go to South Africa. Send one there. Right next to Cornwall's epic colony. God damn those Finnish nationalists. I took over your country in a blood filled, you know, storm. Deal with it. Hooray! Kiev now is now considered part of the Prussian Empire. Never thought you'd hear that. Oh no. The War of Secession. Oh, okay. Is it just me, or do these, like, musket men here look really deformed? Like, look at these guys. Can't tell what exactly they're supposed to be. At first I thought they were, like, farmers. Because, I don't know, they had this, like, hat on, and I thought, like, that musket was a rake. Turns out that's not the case. Whoa. Sweet, I can build a royal palace. Do it.
some more stability. That would be so cool. I always like that you have gained the dishonorable scum causes belly. <laughs> always makes me laugh. Well, we're gonna declare a war, war on you because you're dishonorable scum. Like saying, we're gonna declare war on you because you're giant pricks. Oh, also, um, for some reason, Hamburg got assimilated into my a beautiful empire. Change my sliders. Road rage. Innovative. Oh no! They've warned me to not go to war with any countries. Well, I'm not going to go to war with any countries anytime soon. Because I really can't afford that. Looks like the Austrians are invading the Kingdom of Aragorn. It's happening in the world today. And now, slowly but surely, the Ottoman Empire is dying out. They had a good run. And then everyone decided that they were too evil to let live, so we killed them. Wow. I actually didn't notice that until now. Now, uh, it's what I hate about turning like the game speed up really fast. You just get bombarded with uh, events and stuff. But I just didn't notice that, uh, how far the Russian Empire spread into the Middle East. Like they, the Russians own Jerusalem right now. Which is probably not good for the, for Israel. And also, they're moving into Persian territory. Well, the Persian Empire actually is is pretty large as well. Well, <laughs> look 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 at all, all these black lines represent uh, rebels, and apparently the Ming Dynasty is fighting off a ridiculously huge rebellion because virtually the entirety of their nation is taken over by rebels at this point. Sweet, I can actually see pretty much the, the, or almost the whole world now. Still don't know what's in the middle of North America yet, and what's across the Pacific, o or the Pacific Ocean is still unexplored, but I can see all of Asia. Apparently the Chinese own parts of Korea too. <laughs> 